This is The Randy Rhodes Show on 960 KNEW and online at 960KNEW.com. Here's today's talking point from your official guide to being a good Republican. Talking point number 113. Obamacare does nothing for the people who are the most impotent. What's wrong with Obamacare? It's not hard to figure out. And when you mention not hard, you think of Rush Limbaugh right away. Rush knows that Obamacare forces people like him to pay for things they can't use. You've got a sign on where people getting free birth control pills, free contraception, free condoms, free whatever. <laughs> what good are free condoms to Rush Limbaugh? I mean, putting a condom on Rush is like putting a life jacket on an earthworm. The poor thing is just going to squirm around in there. You know? No, no, no. Rush knows what they're up to with Obamacare. Jacking up your premiums for things you're never going to use, never going to access, but other people do. Why should the birth control costs of potent, normally functioning people be subsidized by a guy like Rush, whose manicotti is never quite al dente, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and that's why Rush Limbaugh is so soft on Obamacare. But um bump Because he knows that it will leave people like himself just, I don't know, hanging there. <laughs> Obamacare has got to go now, people. Folks like Rush certainly don't need limp excuses. <laughs> so cut Rush Limbaugh a little slack, huh? Lord knows he's got nothing but slack for anybody else. And that's talking point number 113 from your official guide to being a good Republican. We're the pimps. <laughs> They are so hateful. But, you know, uh, they believe hate works, and they're sticking with it. Hate is a good thing. Hate is a motivator. People uh, who are angry tend to show up at the polls more often than people who are pleased. And so the Republican Party has decided they're all in with the hatred. They have done nothing for you. They have offered nothing in the way of job creation. They have offered nothing in the way of a replacement bill for Obamacare in all these many years, since 2010 to 2013. Nothing except 44 attempts to repeal it with no... Re they said repeal and replace. Where's the replace? They don't have a replace. They never had a replace, okay? Uh, we took their idea. The individual mandate was their idea. It came from the Heritage Foundation. Uh, the, the, the guy who actually invented the individual mandate, uh, his name was Stu. It's always a guy named Stu. Uh, he actually worked at the Heritage Foundation. This was part of what they came up with. We actually compromised and said, fine, we'll try it your way. You know, we wanted to do single payer. It would have been cleaner, easier. It would have been simpler. It would have been straightforward. You would have had a birth certificate and a Social Security number, and you would have gotten health insurance. Period. End of story. But, oh, no. Need an individual mandate. Need, uh, you know, something that's, uh, you know, uh, uh, the carrot and the stick. You know, the carrot is you'll get a tax subsidy. The stick is if you don't, you get a fine. You know what I mean? They, they, we did what they wanted us to do. 